Hi, Mark. Hello, Joanna. It's so nice to see you again. Absolutely my pleasure to be today here with you. Welcome to everyone watching this video. I, I hope that you will enjoy today's topic, which is... Uh, tone arm alignment. Hmm. So, speaking about tone arm alignment, first we have to consider and understand the tone arm geometry. Am I right? Yes, uh, the tonal geometry and the terms which are connected with it are, are uh, most of the time uh, misunderstood or not understood by uh, the vast majority of uh, uh, vinyl listeners. The, the concept is, is quite simple and there are plenty of, uh, of resources on the web. You can visit the vinyl, uh, the vinyl engine, uh, which is a mine of, of, of uh, knowledge. But uh, to co confuse the matter, there are a lot of gurus uh, around there that try to explain this relatively simple matter, uh, which they don't understand, so they complicate uh, things and they confuse, uh, and they confuse the uh, wide audience. Uh, the terms can, can, be, can look quite complicated and technical, but the concept is pretty, is pretty simple. Uh, I think that, that, that to try to explain it in words, it makes uh, uh, the things maybe even more complicated. If, for this reason, and because uh, sometimes uh, drawing uh, speaks better than a thousand words, prepare a series of, of graphic videos that uh, explain how it works. So I think best thing is to start and play in the first video. So that was great. Um, the effective distance, overhang and offset are clearer. But does all this um, affect the sound we are listening to? Absolutely, yes. As we, we saw, the, the uh, uh, cartridge draw an arc on, on your record. So uh, it's not perfectly aligned all the time. It depends how this alignment is off and, and which amount across all the traveling of, of the record. It's another simple, quite simple concept that is difficult to explain in words. And that's the reason why we have a second 
uh, clip that we can play. So play the second clip, please. So we have inner null point, outer null point and distortion. But in practice, what should I do in order to align my cartridge properly? I mean, in accordance with the geometry of the tone arm. First of all, we must understand that every manufacturer, almost every manufacturer, have a different uh, geometry uh, of their, their tone arms. They are different uh, pivot to spindle distance, they can have different uh, over angle, different offset angle. This is mean that every single kind of toners must be aligned differently. Uh, and for do so, you need a dedicated arc protractor that has been designed for that model of toner or deck, if you have a deck with integrator, integrated toner. Uh, there are also uh, protractors, generic protractors, that are better than nothing, but you cannot be sure that once you align it, your cartridge in the two null points uh, of a generic protractors, you cannot uh, imagine which will be the tracking error in the other point. It's another complicated thing, to, difficult to, again to explain by words, and we have uh, another video for this where you can uh, will be explained how an arc protractor work and how you should use it. Play the third click, uh, play, please.
that's lovely, but why do we have all the kind of uh, tone arms which are pivoted tone arms with all those alignment problems and can't we have a reading torman that works as the um, engraving tool let's say uh, tangentially yes they do exist uh, the still thirsty fee manufacturers that makes them the, they, they were relatively popular in the 80s a lot of manufacturers started selling these uh, uh, decks with tangential uh, toners, but were not very, very successful because they introduced more problem than the single one they were trying to solve. Uh, let's, let's first, there is a reason why the vast majority of manufacturers manufacture toners which are pivoted. One of the reasons is that the distortion which is introduced due to the tracking error, if it's moderate, is not is barely audible. And if it's audible, is not an unpleasant distortion. And secondly, because all the manufacturers of cartridges design the cartridges bearing in mind that they will be attached to a pivoted tonus. The needle, which is attached to a cantilever and a piece, little piece of rubber, this needle vibrates inside the groove between 20 to 20,000 hertz, try to reproduce the sound of the harmonics, the subharmonics, the partial harmonics, and to keep up with all the transients, which can be very fast of the music is an incredible force that is inside this little needle and the cantilever. This force go to the cartridge and from the cartridge go to the tonum. All these vibration generate resonances inside the tonum that can come back to your cartridge and badly spoil your pleasure of listening music. So the system must be simple, rigid, and easy to tame the resonances. If you take a system that is extremely complicated, is incredibly difficult, if it's not impossible, tame these resonances first. Secondly, you have a tonum that's a very high mass moving sideways, which is not what the designer of the cartridge was expecting, putting a big strain on the cantilever that is working out of specification. That's the reason why these uh, tangential uh, toners are seen by many audiophiles as a gimmick and uh, are not very popular. There were also other manufacturers that try to solve the problem differently using a, a pivot system but a pantheograph that changes the offset angle while the, the turban was sweeping on the, the record in a in way to reduce or eliminate the, the error. And back again, we have a system that is getting particularly complicated and heavy, and we come back to the problem to tame resonances, which can be unpredictable in such a complicated system with a lot of movement. And they are not pop popular either. So keep it simple. That's the reason why. 99% of the tonums or more you can find on the market are pivoted. Tonums. And the best advice we can have for everyone watching this video and for any audiophile is to try to understand the tone arm geometry. Just to be able to align the tone arm properly and to enjoy music of the highest level. Yes, alignment is, is uh, uh, terribly important. But Anyway, if you have any uh, suggestion or 
request uh, please uh, write in uh, in a section in the comment section below uh, we'll try to, to transfer to everyone uh, in the meantime uh, take care stay safe and enjoy the music Thank you for watching, take care and see you next time. And don't forget to uh, subscribe and click uh, the bell notification and a like, yeah, it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.